my name is Carla. I am Skeletra and welcome to my video. So this week I decided I wanted to try painting again with gouache. And I said before that I was intrigued by the watercolour effect that you can get with gouache. But in my previous two paintings I never managed to achieve that. So you'll see, even though I try and start out making the watercolour effect, I don't quite manage it. But as we get further into the video, that I start to become more confident with the water to paint ratio. So this sketch pad slash journal was a gift to me quite a few years ago and I really like it. It's one of those fair trade handmade paper ones, which you can get from quite a lot of places online now. But like most nicer things, I end up saving them and never using them because I'm scared to ruin them. But back in March, I received some flowers from my parents for my birthday and I decided to press them because I'd never done that before and it was always something I'd been interested in. And I thought it would be perfect to put them in this book. I mean, I knew I wasn't going to start sketching in there anytime soon. I tend to get random sort of project thoughts in my head and I think one of the ideas for this journal or sketchbook was to have it as like a fashion book and create like model designs, that sort of thing, but I've never never even started to think about starting anything like that. I still do want to do that, but it's just that fear of starting something and then thinking it's not going to look as perfect and pristine as in my head. So instead, I decided to put these flowers in it and I took, I think I took one leaf or petal from each flower in the bouquet. And they've pretty much been sat in this book since March. <laughs> I didn't really know what I wanted to do with them. I think eventually I'll want to get one of those clear glass frames and just stick them in there. I think that would look nice hung up somewhere. But then I had the idea of painting them, or at least trying to paint them because even though my last two attempts of painting weren't perfect, I haven't lost the drive to improve, which can be quite rare for me. So in my head, because I'm quite confident at copying references by sketching or drawing on paper, I find it a little bit harder digitally, but I can draw from reference pretty easily on paper. That somehow in my brain made me think that I would find it easier to paint from reference too. Which I quickly found out and you'll also notice that is not true. That is not the case whatsoever. I mean I don't know how to paint so why on earth would I think that this would be easy? But here I am trying anyway and carrying on. I did think at one point, probably during the leaves section, that I should probably scrap this idea because it wasn't turning out how I thought it would and just put it down as practice. But actually, at the end, I think I've pulled it together. So I don't think you can notice just yet, but the paper itself, because it's handmade, when you look closely at it, it's very textured, which I love. I love textured paper, but you can see like dark fibres, loads of other different little things that are inside it that I think add character to the piece. I love different sorts of papers like this. So I think overall it's made this piece look far better than if it was on a nice crisp white piece of paper. However, 
I don't think this is the perfect paper for painting and especially not watercolour. The water did make it sort of pill up, like start rubbing away, which I'm not that bothered about so it doesn't really matter to me but I probably wouldn't recommend something like this if anybody else wanted to start painting. I also don't think the paintbrushes that I use are particularly great for what I'm using them for or the effects that I want to make. I feel like I need to look out for more densely packed brushes that hold water better and obviously I need to improve my techniques as well. So you'll notice now that I did end up deciding to use coloured pencils and I'm really glad that I did make this decision because the paintings were just not it. I do think the rose petal in the middle and the white and pink edged petal which I think was from a carnation. I thought I achieved the watercolour effect pretty well. Like I managed to get the like the colour bleed in the water. So I think the coloured pencils was a good shout. And especially on the lily petal, the first one that I painted. I don't think the paintbrush that I use worked well. There's quite a lot of very fine brown veins in the petal itself and I just couldn't replicate it so I think the coloured pencils helped out a lot on that one. As for the three green leaves, which I kind of hated that I painted them too close to the lily petal but <laughs> what can you do? I decided to go all out on the top one with coloured pencils. On the one to the right, I used a little bit of coloured pencils, mainly yellow, and on the bottom left, I used fine liners. And I genuinely think my decision to use fine liners on this piece made it look good. So, the top right flower, which is a completely made up flower, I just love those kinds of colours, like really dusty blue and like a lilac. I love anything that's sort of spring, spring colours, spring granny colours. That's my ideal colour palette for anything. And I think the fine liners on that, which I plan to do when I painted it, I think they really make it pop. And then for the big left hand flower, that was also made up. It kind of stemmed from maybe a thought of a daisy and then just fleshed it out a little bit. I thought that turned out really well as well. And then I just added some of the smaller leaves and petals that I pressed. And I think it goes to show that my earlier comment of being confident about drawing from reference with pen or pencil is true. So this is the final result. I really love how both the pressed flowers on the left and my final piece of art looks together. I think it makes it look quite rustic. It gives me farmhouse vibes and yeah, I'm just really happy with it. 
I do think I still need to improve my painting, but I seem to have got over the watercolour hurdle. I think I've proven to myself that I'm serious about improving painting skills. So, we've got Basil again today, and he's a little bit more inquisitive than he was before. And he says he hopes you have a really good day. Anyway, I just want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope you stick around for the next one. Ta-ra!